We're here with Ron Holly, meteorologist from Vaisla, to talk about lightning safety. Ron, what's the most important thing folks should know about staying safe from lightning? There really are only two safe places from lightning. One is a large, substantial building that has wiring and plumbing and maybe some metal parts in the building itself. It takes a direct strike to a building and takes it down into the ground. Schools, houses, modern houses, uh, hospitals, and shopping centers, and so on are all very safe. The other safe place is inside of a fully enclosed metal top vehicle, which also provides a Faraday cage or a cage for metal uh, to take the strike to a car around you and into the ground. Those are the only two safe places. The other locations outside of a building, a large building or a metal top vehicle are all unsafe and are unpredictable in terms of whether or not uh, you'll be able to survive the lightning strike. So all lightning safety should be oriented toward going directly to this large substantial building or a fully enclosed metal top vehicle. So when we look at lightning fatalities, what are some of the places that folks are getting struck by and killed by lightning? Well, every fatality in uh, Arizona in the last 10 years, and there's been 14 of them, have been outside of a large substantial building or a metal, uh, fully enclosed metal top vehicle. They've been at the Grand Canyon, they've been fishing, hiking in tents, on rock outcroppings, just sometimes doing things uh, in the backyard. So anywhere outside of the building or the vehicle is unsafe. Okay. So what, what, is the, what are some other safety tips that we can employ then as far as uh, lightning goes? When thunder roars, go indoors is a good basic rule. When you hear thunder, you're close enough to be struck by lightning. You don't ask questions, you just go inside of the largest building or a metal top vehicle. And also wait up to 30 minutes after the last lightning and thunder and be sure that the storm is over with. Don't go out too soon. So that, that lightning can then strike several miles away from that parent thunderstorm after it's passed you, right? Yes, the lightning's been observed to strike up to 10 or even 15 miles away from the rain falling at the ground. In the southwestern states, we have a specific problem in that it often is not raining very hard, and so the perception is that the lightning danger is not very great because it's not, you're not getting wet. But being safe from lightning is different than being dry, and so we really need to take extra steps to, to be safe from lightning in the southwestern states. So in addition to waiting until after the storm, storm passes, you want to make sure you know where you're going to go before that storm even approaches, is that correct? Yes, plan ahead and know where a safe location is uh, in advance, and how long it's going to take to get there so that you aren't caught uh, unprepared or with, without enough time to reach those places. Well, thanks, Ron. It sounds like uh, great advice. Hope everyone stays safe this monsoon.